The following are the technical steps of a pediatric living donor liver transplant. To begin the living donor procedure, the adult donor and the pediatric recipient are brought to separate operating rooms located next to each other and prepared for surgery. The living donation process starts with the removal of a section of the left lobe of the adult donor's liver. The size of the segment is determined by the size and weight of the recipient. The surgeon makes an upper midline incision from just below the xiphoid to just above the umbilicus. Once inside the abdomen, the surgeons will prepare the hepatic artery, portal vein, and the hepatic veins of the portion of liver to be used for transplantation. The designated section of the liver is then divided from the remainder of the liver with the blood vessels intact. The vessels to the portion of the liver to be used for transplantation are divided. The donor graft is handed to the recipient team, who flush the vessels with a preservative solution. The blood vessels on the donor side are closed with either sutures or a stapling device. The abdomen is closed. During the removal of the donor graft, a separate team of surgeons works to remove the recipient's liver in preparation for transplant. The blood supply and the bile duct are divided. First, the right and left branch of the hepatic artery are divided. Then, the common hepatic and cystic ducts are divided. The portal vein is divided. A clamp is applied to the inferior vena cava, or IVC, below the liver. Another clamp is applied to the IVC above the liver. The hepatic veins are divided. And the diseased liver is removed. The prepared donor graft is brought into the recipient's OR room. The recipient's surgical team will reconnect all the major vessels and common bile duct beginning with the hepatic vein. And then the portal vein. Flow is restored to the graft. The hepatic artery is connected, often using the operative microscope. Lastly, the bile duct is connected to a segment of bowel. The incision is closed and the patient transported to the ICU. The new liver will grow with the patient. Within two to three months, the donor's liver will have grown back to its original size.